Greetings and salutations everyone, this is Tam Shanter. The game is a new one today. We're going to try out Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I've never played a Harry Potter game. I read all the books, all the movies, um, own the movies, own the books. Um, which, the only reason I ever bought a Harry Potter book was I wanted to give it to my nephew, the first one, when he was, I don't know, nine or ten. Somewhere around there, probably, not, probably ten. But I wanted to read the book first before I gave it to him so that I knew that it was an appropriate book for a ten-year-old. And uh, so I read the book and went, this book is not so bad. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um... I've only played this game a little bit on the Steam Deck, which was with a controller. Now we're going to try with a mouse and keyboard, so we'll see how much fun that is. Um, I may have to switch to a controller, but we'll see. So here we go. Uh, anyways, we got our little letter here. Uh, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Wizardry, Witchcraft and Wizardry. As a fifth year student, term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the responsible restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside the school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar... Uh, should be Eleazar, huh? Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of the term feast and sorting ceremony. Uh, yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. So there we go. So now we got to create a character. I'm going to create a dude character. Um, so let's see. Let's just go quick through everybody. There's a, a nice. I wish you could zoom up better. Nice ginger with freckles. Uh, nice, nice uh, boy. A little pug nose. And girl. And another young man. And young lady. Another boy with a little pug nose. Another girl. Another lad. Girl, another lad. Well, that's a boy. It's a dude, right? Yeah, the boy's got bow ties. Bow ties. He's got himself a mess of hair, though. So we have just a whole tribe here, don't we? So, um, I think I like this boy. Let's start with that boy. Now we've got some ways to... Oh, he's got himself a little scar in his eyebrow. He's a pretty little boy, isn't he? Let's see, face shape. Oh, a little chunky monkey boy. stick with I'm with that one skin color that would make him a dark boy so this would be a pasty white boy I am not a pasty white person so I'll go with a little bit of tone uh, in the summer I'm probably more like that color, but we'll just we'll leave it at a medium Caucasian tone. Uh, I'm not gonna wear glasses. You only got three kinds, and they all look dumb. So, hairstyles. Honestly, I kind of like this one. It's 
quite a few to choose from. This was the one. Same little floppy haired boy. You make him look biracial. So there was some, uh, this is some good hair right here. <laughs> I think we'll go with uh, this one though. Oh, we got dreads. That doesn't look right. Neither does that. He looks too Caucasian for that. We'll go with this, this little bit right here. Uh, s scars. I guess we'll just leave his little scar as it is. Don't know that we need a scar. Freckles and moles. Is this more? That's. Well, that's moles. Gotcha. And there's some freckles. Oh, that's a lot of freckles. So let's go with a, a few freckles. I have a few freckles. It's from having uh, a gingers in my in my family, so I have I have freckles. My sister has way more freckles than my dad because they're both gingers. Um, I don't know; those eyebrows look pretty good. Don't give him that. He's got a cut through his eyebrow there. That's, um... Sure, how about that? Uh, eyebrow color, same as his hair. Sounds fair. Do we on hair color? Skin color, wait a minute. Hair color, let's see what the hair colors are. Pink, not my gig. He looks too dark for that, that color. Green. Poiple. He's too dark for gingery hair. Or blonde hair. Boy, that's really blonde. Eh, he was clear over here, eh? With dark hair, let's... Yeah, let's leave it like right there. Okay, let's see. We did the scar thingy, right? What's this now? Eyebrows. Okay, uh, voice one. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Are oh, you know. It was wonderful. I believe a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to... That was quite... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Oh, no. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That's terrible. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Yes. Uh, we'll do normal. Uh, we're going to name him. Uh... I don't know. Random boy. <laughs> uh, the wizard named Random Boy. Um, let's name him... Myth and... Myth... Uh... Wizard, and then here we go. The name you have entered contains restricted words. What? Okay, let's make him Nathaniel or Nathaniel. Uh, there we go. I don't understand what's the restricted. Uh. The 
They don't like myth, apparently. Oh, they didn't like Abbott. Why would Abbott be a restricted name? That's very strange. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Eleazar. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. There we go. Char. Char. Not horses. What do they call the dead horse things that carry them? The polo uh, carriages. Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Oh, sorry Miriam. about that. How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- 
front row. Been attacked by a wiper. Of course, I suppose if you're being eaten, that is probably the least of your worries. Oh. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will rot you in a second. Up with the Wigan World. Burp, down it goes. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Wyvern? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Don't breathe the spores. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Oh, yeah, that's bright. Oi, oi. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, it's like a church trees. across the way there. The port key was meant there to lead us there. Looks I like do. a church, a chapel. This has not or been a... the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent looks that like port a church. key to George for a reason. Cathedral. And I believe I that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Yep. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam what wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Uh-huh. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus okay. on the center. Okay. Excellent! Egg 
incident. Oop, continue. Use your current camera to select an active target. Okay. Oh, I hit the right button here. Whoa! Let's see. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Might as well practice, right? Now it's just ahead. How lovely, huh? Steady yourself. here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Oh, follow him. I don't want to follow him. I want to go that way. Oops. The mini-map shows your surroundings with you being the purple thingy in the middle. And uh, this is your current objective. Press V to toggle. Quest objectives. Details. Okay. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Okay, we gotta go up. Excuse me. Up there. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, there's something else. Professor. This statue. This may have been his home. Okay. Oh, don't fall off there, buddy. Wanding things is kind of fun. Even if it's just clay pots or whatever they are. Professor, not follow us. That sounds like a recipe for getting that into trouble. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't like that. Do you hear What's it? What's this? Professor Fig! On the housetop. Reindeer's paws. I don't know. That song has been stuck in my head since Christmas time. I don't know why. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. 
Like the glow on the port key container. Sess me. We're gonna say Merlin Spirit in again. Merlin's name. Well, close. Wake the goblin. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't Green believe guts. it. We're in Green Guts. Stalactites. Are they stalagmites? I can't remember which ones go up and which ones go down. Stalagmites or stalactites. If you know, you can answer that Hello? question. Nails, holy crap. It can't be. Sharp little teeth, too. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> no, we're not at Green Guts. Are we at Green Guts? <clears throat> yeah, because Green Guts is like the bank, right? <clears throat> Ay, it's been a while. Welcome to Green Guts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. This way? This way. Stay close. That's how I used to rearrange the letters on our, uh... Lobby board instead of saying this way, I made it say Tice way. After you. Not very original, but it gave me pleasure. A place that gave me very little anything, to be honest. Money, but that's about it. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Here we go. Enjoy the cinematics. Stalactites, stalagmites. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most Okay, uncommon. stalagmites are Only upward growing. So stalactites are the ones that grow pointing down. Now you know. You'll want to take a breath. It looks like a fun ride. It looks like a TIE Fighter kind of the way it's supposed to run. That waterfall was a way all enchantments. Yeah. It's a security Star measure. Watch. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. Four it was right in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Seatbelts. Vault number. Vault, Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On you, way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I would so write this, although I kind of want seatbelts, just in case. Here we are. Something. At least a lap belt. Or maybe a little roll cage. Oh, I gotta continue playing. All right. When was the last time this vault was accessed? 
A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oh, I wanted to look over the edge. Vault 12, thank you for your help. On myth. Ooh, what's here? Yes, please. Gave us some money, it looks like. There's the eight gold pieces. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Mr. Mark. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, I did okay. I did kind of bad. R. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. There it is. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover Rebelli. the secret of this vault. Lead the way. I'm gonna get all these buttons mixed up, is what's gonna end up happening. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do yeah, you think do you this mean? is some earn sort of out. test? I, I do. do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. I will, because I can't There will be no disapparating start. if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Rebellion. See something up ahead. Yeah. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Just make sure I'm not missing anything else. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow. It suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes, perhaps. Okay, here we go. What is this now? How many fingers am I gonna have to use? Uh, you've acquired the one lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. 
Lumos collects light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Yeah, yeah, no shit. Uh, tap one. Lumos, well done. Okay. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Uh, nope. Revelio. Oh, I like that the light goes out every time I do that. That's fun. Lumos. Okay, let's see here. Revelio. Oh, well, there's a Where something right here. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, I saw those, but just hold on a second. Okay. Lumos. Okay, this way. Lumos. Okay, dokey. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Yeah, that sounds like not good. Last time we did this. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. I suppose you are, that's... Lumos. There we go, right here. X marks the Seems spot. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. That sounds... <laughs> absolutely horrifying. Oh, no, no. Oh, See, when they zip up, I don't even see. Okay, uh, hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with stupefy counter counterattack. Stun enemies take extra damage. Oh, that sounds great. Oh! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that didn't work either. <laughs> what the f- Okay, come on. What the hell, I'm, I'm like- Oh, I'm like dead. I held the 
that queue. <sighs> Shite. Okay, try again. Hold Q. Yeah, yeah, I was holding Q. And you know what happened? Where did he go? Stupid one. Whatever to sprint. Press. How am I supposed to press that with a hand on the mouse? I would like to know. Like that. Revelio. Please and thank you. Investigate, please and thank you. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that. Basin. That is no mere basin. Pensive. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created 
may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. I'm gonna guess that's We've our little friend Myth. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Yeah. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Oh, great. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have Well, that wasn't very nice. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Poor little fella. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Anything. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Uh -oh. Dude, you better get up. What is this now? What? I have not played up to this point, so what the hell is that? That's unfriendly. Come on. Well, I mean, not that I want the little creepy goblin dude to win, but what? What are you doing? I know a way out. Dude, what are you doing? Let's go. Fine, sir. Be my luck, I'd do this. I've never seen bears. so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. And there we've begun. Off to Hogwarts, eh? To the castle proper. You can ride this train. Stop. 
Uh, well, not that train. Well, maybe it's a train similar, but you can, like, drive over the places that they've gone. Where they filmed the train scenes. Uh, old stone bridges and whatnot. Very cool. I didn't do that while I was in Scotland. I was in Scotland almost eight years ago. I don't know. We're gonna end the episode in an hour's time. We got about ten minutes or so. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. He sort of looks like Sirius. I'm assuming that he's a, a, rel a relative of Sirius Black. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Um, start classes or explore? I can't wait to ex explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Um, curiosity, I should say. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Uh, sure. We'll do Ravenclaw. You belong in Ravenclaw! Looks pretty dang on proud of himself, doesn't he? Oh, 
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Well, quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Good night. Oh, we're morning. Thought I was going to meet the mates. Guess not. Would have given me a great place to stop. Looks like head. everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Okay, but let's end the episode here. So, yeah, well, uh, we'll do that. So. I am Tam O'Shanter. The game is Hogwarts Legacy. Thanks for joining me uh, today. Um, I will probably record maybe another episode or two before calling it a day today. But anyway, yeah, uh, I hope you like this. Um, it's going to be an adventure, I think. So yeah, uh, if it's your first time here and you don't mind the content so much, please consider subscribing and ring the bell for notifications. I do try to cut drop content every other day uh, as uh, much as possible occasionally you know life gets in the way but generally we try so we do that uh, leave a thumbs up thumbs down if you don't want to do any of that stuff and you're just passing through leave a comment in the comment section let me know you were let you me know you were here and uh, let me know how you like this game or what you think about it uh, I think it's pretty cool to be honest so yeah I'm gonna get up on out of here you guys, please be safe, please be kind, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.